Run out of formaldehyde. I underestimated you. You almost caught me in flagrante delicto. Now you've seen through my bluff with Nathaniel. Although, you've not divined all, I see. Had you, you would have drawn your silver sword. Who, what are you? A vampire. Higher, of course. Got a reason for killing? A reason to torture? Hmm. I thought you'd figure that out as well. The symbolism's rather obvious. Coals for those who are blind to the fire. The egg of a salamander born of fire to replace their cold, doubting hearts. Fire down the throat that... Yeah, symbolism's clear. What's not is why a vampire would kill in the name of the eternal fire. Should be equally obvious. I concur with the Church's diagnosis. Novigrad is a fallen city. Its population amnesiacs to the very concepts of decency and morality. So I decided to remind them, in a manner they'd be certain to notice. There are other ways. Could have set up a soapbox in Hierarch Square, preached from it. How funny. That's exactly what I did. But none listened. Instead they laughed, through stones. Give a thought to my victims. A lecherous woodcarver who'd spend his last copper on whores. An old countess who defiled symbols of the faith. A Trebirates for whom nothing was sacred, nothing above ridicule. They did not deserve to live. But their deaths could be a lesson to others. Awaken them, scare them onto the correct path, the path to the fire, to cleansing, to salvation. For you, I'm afraid it's too late. You are a man of little faith. I sense this. Mm-hmm. But I'm pretty good with a sword. Pretty good. Might not cut it.
How's better, right? Y yes. Did you take care of what I asked? Yeah. The Witcher's way. Thank you, Geralt. For me and Priscilla. Did my part. Your turn now. Take care of her. Good care. I will. You'll see. Treat her better than the Dryads of Brockalon could. She's talking again. Nice surprise. Isn't it? Professor Von Gratz told me her wounds are healing faster than a troll's. Not the most flattering comparison, but encouraging. Maybe she might even sing again someday. For now, we'll try performing as a duo. She'll play the lute, I'll sing. Dandelion and Kalanetta. Got a nice ring to it, doesn't it? Sounds great. Good luck, Dandelion. On stage and off. Sorry, Gail. My throat's still quiet. Say no more. Get well soon. Sorry, Gail. Sorry, Gerald. Geralt? Mr. Say no more. Geralt? Get well Geralt? soon. Geralt? Geralt? Yes, Geralt? Know another surgeon from Oxenford Academy. Her name's Shani. Know her? Red hair cropped short, freckles. And a hopeless idealist. Naturally, I know her. She was my assistant for a year. Any idea where she is now? My gut tells me she's somewhere along the front, patching up pikemen. I told her it would be futile. In the time she saved a hundred lives, another thousand would be lost. But medics with a mission, you can't argue with them. Why is the university in Oxenford closed? Because it suits Radovid. You've not heard the story? The rector wished to grant him an honorary doctorate. The faculty disagreed. Nonetheless, Radovid arrived for the ceremony, donned a gown, collected his diploma, and when it was over, imprisoned the deans and the entire academic senate so they wouldn't raise a stink. I've been at Vilmeria's hospital ever since. But perhaps it's for the best. I'm far more adept, scalpel in hand, than I ever was behind a lectern. Hubert told me about your past, even more vivid than I'd assumed. I have not time for riddles, Geralt. Be straight or be gone. Any truth to his claim that people died during the riots at the university? Died for your cause? I was young and stupid. I thought a better future was worth any price. Even a human life or two. But those are past sins. Sins I've atoned for. Found and killed the murderer. It was Hubert. You were right not to trust him. He was a higher vampire. I thought nothing could surprise me in Novigrad. Seems I was wrong. Deeply wrong. Thank you, Geralt. Were it not for you, this would never have ceased. Farewell. <laughs>